Hello guys, welcome to C Learning with new video. In this video, we will learn about RSTP or Rapid Spanning Tree Protocol. Uh, in our previous video, the STP where we configure the link between switches where to avoid switching loops. So in RSTP, we we have a concept of edge port. So edge ports are those ports which go to router or any end devices like this port this g001 this port is going to uh, pc and this port is going to pc so these port are used in making uh, loops in routing loops so that's why these are called stp ports and this port is a rstp port edge port because uh, routing loop may occur through this port so this we make this port as a uh, rstp port so rstp have a three states First of all, discarding state, uh, uh, learning state, and forwarding states. So they have. Uh, first of all, we make this port as a edge port. So we start the configuration of RSTP. So system view. First of all, we go in interface. Interface G G not G. It's Ethernet. Ethernet 0001. So we are in 001. So quit. First of all, we enable STP. STP mod so if you question mark you can see RSTP so first of all we make it RSTP so we are in RSTP mode now we go in interface G001 so make this port as a edge port so STP edge port edge port is not enabled by default but STP is enabled on switches so STP enable on these switches so make the election between switches and avoid the loops by blocking one link but the uh, edge port is not open by default we have to open edge port uh, enable so we have a command so we enable the edge port so that is the configuration of edge port now we go in switch 2 we go in system view and interface uh, first of all we enable STP stp mod rstp and now we go in interface ethernet ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 1 and stp e edge port edge port enable enable so now you can if you see go back and if you hear uh, display stp brief brief you can observe that these are a gigabit ports this is because this is a root bridge because the root bridge all ports have designated ports so these are designated ports and this ethernet port is a designated as well in a forwarding state forwarding state so this port is now a edge port so in at this at this if you go and display stp brief you can observe that this is the edge port now so edge port normally do not receive bpdus uh, like uh, during the election of stp uh, uh, switches exchange the bpdus and make a root bridge so edge port do not receive bpdus uh, in case STP in edge port, this edge port receive a BPDU. This normally do not receive, but it receive uh, during uh, hacker attacks on port and send the BPDU here. So this port become enable uh, disable quickly and trigger the election and make the election between switches and make root bridge again and make this port as edge port again in case of it receive BPDUs and uh, so if it receive the BPDUs sometimes for some time network flapping occur network goes down and then up, uh, then up again so STP for edge port edge port received uh, edge port uh, do not delay if it disable it uh, quickly start it uh, become discarding to forwarding and forwarding state it they makes uh, uh, 30 to 50 seconds so to avoid protection to 
uh, avoid loops we make a protection additional configuration here we we do a protection so we so we enable bpdo protection here so we go in interface and now bpdo protection here as well so now if you display stp brief so you can here see this it protect the bpdo it will protect the bpdo to come on this link so that's why you configure bpdo here so here as well if you stp bpdo filter not filter its protection so now we'll go in interface ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 1 and stp bpdu filter not protection protection okay protection so if you display display stp brief so you can observe that now you configure protection of bpdu here you will you are not allowing bpdu to come in this link this link so you can also go in interface g001 of stp or switch you can also stp configure stp bpdu stp sorry loop protection so you go in interface of g002 and also configure loop protection here so if you display stp brief so you can observe that this this port will avoid the loop it means that this will block the loop and this port allow block the bpdu to come here because uh, this this path is not making any loop that's why uh, there is no work of bpdu in this interface so that's all for today's video so that's how rstp works if you have any questions you can comment and ask so please subscribe and thank you very much